time! I cannot swear in front of the camera! It's 6 in the morning, my face is all swollen and it's time for a random French pop lock. Hey, I don't have a fancy fancy road microphone, so I'm just gonna add this one. The point is that this is how we're gonna sound now. Clean deep, sure. Make it bad. Check, kimono. Water, check. Now it's time to head out into French Street. French Street, here we go. Take our little car, Dasha. Um. Welcome to Bordeaux, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Today we are going to the beautiful Lormont. It's a small little region in the whole Bordeaux city. Bordeaux city has 1,500,000 people living here around Bordeaux, but in the middle it's 250,000 people. Bordeaux is famous for their wine and because of the high quality of wine, people say that in Bordeaux there live a lot of bourgeois, how you say, which is not a nice word. It's absolutely not a nice word. It means that the people have a lot of money, which is, that's not a problem that you have a lot of money, but because of that money, the, their asses are high up in the air, or their head is high up in the ass. <laughs> which I don't tend to agree with, because all I've been me meeting is nice people around here. I don't know what's the whole fuss about bourgeois. Like yesterday, this little baby, <laughs> doesn't do the people. I ran out of battery and this woman was going to a parking lot and I was like in my broken French trying to communicate hey can you please help me out like I cannot start my, start my car maybe do you have these wires I can get to the battery and she's like no I don't but my daughter lives here nearby I'm just gonna go and see maybe she has the wires basically she walked 300 meters to check out if she if her daughter has wires for the charging she didn't so she called uh, her husband and her husband came to help me like what is this whole nonsense talk about people being bourgeois and people not being nice Bordeaux has some amazing people and uh, yeah today we are not actually being specifically in Bordeaux we're gonna do some construction work me and Jula we're gonna get dirty on our Lormont project which you will know guys for sure about just it's gonna take a little time enjoy the rest of the city thank you Welcome to Lormont, ladies and gentlemen. There was a day in my life where I said that I'm never ever ever gonna do construction work again i was a construction worker uh, when i was younger i did electricity job and i got scammed the work was really bad and all in all the experience was really really depressive <laughs> after that experience i said to myself that i'm never gonna work in the construction site never ever again so how in the world did i end up doing construction job again no it's not money i'm i i was i was safe with that i i had my job on the computer which i could keep on doing but then I visited this genius of a woman, Simone, and she has a project called Lormont in this historical building. It's uh, more than 100 years old, located in a very nice upcoming district. This is a pedestrian street, by the way. And what Simone does with her crazy architecture and design is she takes this house. One side of the house at the beginning was 90 square meters. And with her new design and uh, rebuilding the whole house from the inside, it's now 180 square meters, which means it's double the size and uh, oh my god you should see what kind of crazy things uh, Simone crafts with her own hands with her own mind what she makes it's like insane I just couldn't say no to this project although in a way I hate construction work <laughs> I got to love it again so uh, that's why I'm doing construction like totally unexpected you've probably seen this video already my tent is still up here walking shoes looks like a mess I know Okay, let's get changed and let's get dusty. Cause it is construction works, baby. <laughs> Just take a look at how green this place is. It doesn't feel like I'm in the city anymore. It doesn't feel like it at all. Like... Work mode on, let's go, baby. I'm the 
Jim. I'm gonna fucking Jim. I. This whole ain't got I. I cannot swear in front of the camera. This whole will not stop me from greatness. Ha! Champions mentality. All day, every day. In construction site. In front of a camera. In the gym. I'm the gym. I'm the greatest man who ever lived. Ah. Just like my comment, Ali said it. Since the age of 12. I'm the greatest man who ever lived. I'm the gym. I'm the mother gym. And this hole ain't gonna stop me from freaking becoming a gym. <laughs> I love it. It's lunchtime, let's go and grab some food. Oh my god, look at these mangoes. been following this specific diet for the last month which is called lectin free diet the idea is to not eat plant-based foods which produce toxins after the food is cropped honestly when I heard about this diet I was like no way I'm ever gonna try this there's so many things you cannot eat then I heard all of the miracles it supposedly does to you and I have a problem with my knee and I thought like what if this actually helps maybe I should try it out and for the past month I'm actually really enjoying this new challenge very restricted diet like there's a lot of things you cannot eat no pasta no rice no tomatoes no cucumbers it's like really there's a lot of things you cannot eat what I found very interesting is the more limitations you have the craftier you get with the foods you actually make there's no peanut butter there's no oatmeal my favorite breakfast I cannot eat it I'm actually cheating because bananas are allowed but green bananas this is quite quite yellow not that I really wanted to but I see my body getting thinner and thinner and thinner muscle mass is okay I'm eating protein as crazy and I'm doing sports a lot but the fat cold reduced so quickly and that means I was just eating too much sugar in the same pastas and rice which I used to eat a lot tomatoes is a big bummer for me theoretically you can eat them if you peel them and you take the seeds out it's quite a challenge and beans no beans that sucks I love kidney beans so much random diet talk in the car check the mic and make sure it sound right boys here we finished this random vlog episode. Right behind me is Life Academy Bordeaux Jiu Jitsu Gym and hopefully next time I can bring you inside. Subscribe, we're going to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Like this video if you like it, comment and I'll see you in the next one, bye. I got choked out today. <laughs> Oh my god, I wanna cut something. Okay, here we go.